against the grain. Eat bread. Eat carbs. Like many, you may be very confused about carbohydrates. Should you eat them? Should you not? I'm Neely with Neely on Nutrition, and I want to take the fear out of food, especially carbohydrates. I'm going to give you several reasons that you should not fear them. Number one, there are nutrients found in carbohydrates that are not found in other macros. For example, vitamin C, one of the water-soluble vitamins, is most significantly found in fruits and vegetables. Fiber. Fiber is a feeding frenzy for the gut. You know that good bacteria that's so helpful for us? Well, fiber is only found in plant-based foods. Plant-based foods are carbs. Phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are plant compounds that have been shown to have um, a health benefit. And they are significantly found in, um, especially in vegetables and fruits. Uh, you might have heard to eat the color of the rainbow. And we're not talking about neon colored Cheetos. No, we're talking about the reds, the orange, the yellow, the blues, the greens, and even white. Yeah, white foods like cauliflower, garlic, onions, all have these disease fighting phytochemicals. Reason number two, under the umbrella of carbohydrates, there are lots of different foods. There's a huge difference between a lentil and a lollipop, yet they're both carbohydrates. Lentils, of course, are a legume, um, a great source of fiber and vitamins and minerals and a good source of protein. It's a carbohydrate, but so is a lollipop. A lollipop is a carbohydrate, specifically it's sugar, and like all sugars, they are sources of carbohydrates. So, but in regardless of the type of sugar, whether it's, you know, pure cane sugar or, or honey or agave nectar or high fructose corn syrup, they're all added sugars, but they're all carbohydrates. Now we need to limit the amount of added sugars in our diet, but other carbohydrates, especially like your fruits and your veggies and your whole grains and your legumes are great, good for you carbs. Reason number three, the body needs energy, right? Where do we get energy from? Glucose. Where does glucose come from? Carbohydrates. It's a very easy way to get energy for the body. And glucose is the preferred energy source for the brain, also the central nervous system and red blood cells, but especially the brain. And the brain makes up about 2% of our body weight, but yet it requires about 20% of our energy needs. So it requires a huge amount of energy. And the easiest way to get that energy from glucose is from carbohydrates. Do carbs turn to fat in the body? Well, sure, but any of the macros can turn to fat in the body if you're over consuming them. So whether it's protein, carb, or fat, if you're eating more than your body needs, you're gonna store it as body fat. Reason number four, many of the better for you carbs are loaded with nutrients. For example, non-starchy veggies have a whole lot of nutrition and you can eat a boatload of them for very few calories. Why? Because of the water content. Most of our non-starchy veggies are over 90% water, so you can eat a lot of them for very few calories. So the more water a food has, the more you can eat. The less water a food has, the less you can eat. For example, our less than better for you carbohydrates, like our sweets and treats and um, fast food and burgers and fries and so forth, um, as well as our healthy fats like nuts, nut butter, avocado, um, healthy oils, all of those are very, very low in water, so the portion has to be kept small. So why do carbs get such a bad name? Well, as I mentioned, not all carbs are created equal. And many carbohydrates are actually packaged into ultra-processed foods, like sugar sweet and beverages, which we call empty calorie foods, really have no nutritional value. They're also packaged with like salt and fat, making this irresistible combination of salt, sugar, and fat, and it can make it really easy to overeat. But to put them into all one bucket, to demonize them all, is just wrong. That's a mistake. I created this playlist for you. It's got um, videos about the different sources of carbohydrates, why people think they're bad, and it goes into more detail of what I just talked about. But um, yeah, join me, please. Go against the grain and eat carbs. Thanks for watching, Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.